Good evening, this is Daniel from BlenderAddon.com and tonight we are going to look at the new features in Automaton Vehicle 2.0. To start, let's configure Automaton Vehicle on my Cybertruck here. This model is uh, a bit complex, so it has a, a bunch of extra rigging stuff uh, in, in it to open the frunk and the, uh, the cover here. So I decided to simply parent everything to an empty. So this empty will be our um, main body object. And we also have the four wheels. So as usual, let's select everything and create the automaton. I have already prepared uh, a nice path here. So let's select it here and um, Next, we should just enable the effects we want on each of the five objects. So translate for the body and uh, translate and spin for the back wheels and translate spin and steer for the front wheels. We're not using suspension right now because I haven't enabled a terrain object. So uh, as for the new features, the first thing that uh, I can talk about is I have changed the way you animate from a factor style which was how it was before uh, a factor means zero uh, puts your vehicle at the start of your path and one puts it at the end of the path so it's always like that no matter the length of the path you can be sure that if you set it to 1, you will have reached the end. But now, by default, we are using the travel distance method. I really like this one. So what it does is you input uh, the distance in meters or whatever other unit you might have chosen in your preferences, and the vehicle will travel exactly that. So, for example, I know that at this point my vehicle has traveled 25 uh, meters across the path. I think this is more natural and yeah, just easier to think. The second feature, it's more noticeable if we go into front view or side view. And I'm going to showcase it here there you go so you can see here while the vehicle is turning it is actually getting like bent to one of the sides uh, this is something that all vehicles do uh, some more than others and it also depends on the speed of the vehicle but i have added this automatic roll strength feature and it will automatically apply um, a roll effect to the vehicle on the tight corners like this. You can see it's now rolling to the other side. And uh, if uh, I don't want it, the effect at all, I might put the automatic roll strength to zero, which is um, how it was before, just a no roll effect. Or uh, if I want an even uh, stronger effect or if I want to exaggerate the effect, uh, I might just raise the value. So two is, <laughs> is quite strong. Very easy to, to see, but depending on the speed of the vehicle, it might be what you want. Let's set it back to one. And now after showing you that, let's enable the Nice Martian terrain that I have prepared here. Okay. And um, play around with the vehicle. And I think we have to enable suspension on all the four wheels. Suspension only becomes available after you have enabled the terrain um, system here. Okay. Uh, 
I just love watching the vehicles roll over bumpy terrain. So the um, the roll uh, effect is not as visible on, on a bumpy terrain, but it is there. If I set it to zero, you will see that the vehicle will kind of um, straighten a bit. The other things that I have added um, are manual control for steer, pitch, roll, and yaw. So going back to, to steering, uh, the front wheels are steer enabled, as you can see here, not the back wheels because reasons. And um, you can control each individual wheel steer strength by using the automatic steer strength. So this is again an automatic effect and by default is set to one. If you set it to a lower value it gets um, uh, less pronounced and you can exaggerate it by, by going higher. But also you can manually control the steer um, with this manual control, right? So um, this means that even if your vehicle is stopped, you can play around with it. Or you can do um, kind of overwrite or, or actually add on top of the automatic effect at any point. This is an animatable uh, uh, setting uh, similar to the travel distance or the uh, fa travel factor. then the roll effect will also allow you to tweak at any point and, and even animate along the path uh, a manual roll effect that gets added to the automatic roll that we set up here and the pitch it's just a, a manual uh, pitch effect we we don't have any automatic pitch effect but you, you can just uh, animated here and similar for a yaw so the yaw just uh, spins the whole vehicle you can uh, produce some nice effects for example if you reach the end of your of your path uh, let's say we go to we make a break here you will generally want to create a nice like pitch animation like this so the vehicle kind of uh, pitches down and then uh, gets back to normal and uh, yaw could be useful to slide uh, a little bit the vehicle on uh, icy roads or uh, wet surfaces. So that's it for the, for the new updates. I hope you enjoyed them. Thank you very much.